In this lecture, we are going to learn about another important decorator in Angular called as host listener. The host listener decorator listens to a DOM event on the host element and it reacts to that event by executing an event handler method. Let's try to understand host listener with an example. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new custom directive for that. If I go to the source folder in there, we have this app folder and in there we have this custom directives folder. So inside this custom directives folder, I want to create a new custom directive called highlight. And we are going to create this new custom directive using Angular CLI. For that, let's go ahead and let's open a new terminal. Let me go ahead and let me delete this previous terminal. And since we want to create this new directive inside this custom directives folder, first we need to move to that folder. For that, let's use this cd command. And using this cd command from the source folder, we want to go to app folder. And from the app folder, we want to go to custom directives folder. And inside this custom directives folder, we want to create a new directive. For that, we can use ng generate command. And since we want to generate a directive here, we can say ng generate directive. When we want to generate a component, we say ng generate component. In the same way, when we want to generate a directive, we say ng generate directive. In short, we can also write it as ng g and we want to generate a directive for that we can specify d. And then we need to specify a name for the directive. So here I want to call this directive highlight. If I press enter, Angular CLI should create a new directive called highlight inside this custom directives folder. So you can see inside this custom directives folder, it has created two files, highlight directive.spec.ts and highlight directive.ts. The spec.ts is basically a TypeScript file inside which we can write some unit tests for our directive. But currently we don't want to worry about writing unit tests. So I'm going to delete this file from here. And let's go to highlight directive.ts file. In there, you will notice that there is a class created called highlight directive decorated with add directive decorator. And inside that decorator, we are setting a selector called as app highlight. And since we have created this directive using Angular CLI, it is automatically going to add this directive in the module.ts file inside this declaration section. So if I scroll down, you will notice that highlight directive is already declared here inside this declarations array. Okay, so this is the advantage of using Angular CLI to create a directive. All right, let me close this file. Let's also close this terminal and let's go to highlight directive.ts file. So here we have the highlight directive class. For that, we have a constructor. Now, on whichever HTML element or a component, we are going to use this app highlight directive. We want to get a reference of that element in this class so that we can manipulate it, right? So for example, what I want is, I want to use this app highlight directive on the product component. So here, let me open this container folder and let's also expand this product list folder. In there, we have this product folder and there we have the product component. So if I go to product component.html, there we have this div and this div is basically displaying each product in the web page. So if I go to the web page, each product which you see here, it is being displayed by this div. So I'm going to add that directive on this div. So the selector for that directive is app highlight. Now, when I'm using this app highlight directive on this div element, you can think of this div element as the host because it is this div element on which we have used that directive. So this div is basically the host here. Let me save the changes in this file and let's go back to highlight directive. Okay, so now what will happen is since we have used this selector on this div element, we can access a reference of this div element using the constructor of this highlight directive. And we have already seen how to do that. So here in the constructor, I'm going to specify a parameter. I'll simply call it element. You can name this parameter anything. And inside this element parameter, I want to have a reference of the host element. 
in this case the host element is this div element so i want to have a reference of this div element inside this element parameter so here i'm going to specify the type as element ref and in order to use this element ref we also need to import it from angular slash go all right now here this element it is a parameter so it will not be available outside of this constructor so what i will do is i will use a private keyword in front of it and what it will do is behind the scenes it will create a private property called element and it will assign that element property with the value stored in this element parameter in the same way i also want to use renderer2 class so for that i am going to create a parameter here i will call it renderer again you can name it anything but the type here is going to be renderer2 and again in order to use this renderer2 we need to import it from angular slash go and i'm also going to use a private keyword in front of this so that behind the scenes a private property called renderer will be created for this highlight directive class and that property will be assigned with the value which we are going to receive for this renderer parameter so basically when this class will be instantiated angular is going to inject an instance of this renderer to class and it is going to assign it to this renderer parameter and we want to assign that value to the renderer property which will be created behind the scenes when we are using this private keyword in front of this parameter i hope it is clear all right so again just to recap since we have used this app highlight directive on this div element this div element here we can think of it like a host and this div element here in the web page it is displaying each of these products so what i want is whenever we hover over any one of these products we want to zoom in that product and when we move our mouse away from that product we want to zoom out that product okay in simple words we want to listen to mouse enter event and mouse out event whenever the mouse enter event will happen we want to do something basically we want to zoom in the product and whenever the mouse out event will happen we want to do something basically we want to zoom out the product so here we want to listen to mouse enter and mouse out event and we want to listen to mouse enter and mouse out event on this host element so as i mentioned earlier it is this div element which is displaying each of these products so whenever the mouse in event happens on this div we want to do something and whenever the mouse out event happens on this div we want to do something and for that we can use host listener so using host listener we basically listen to events on a host in this case the host is this div element and we want to listen to mouse enter and mouse out event on this div element and whenever that mouse enter and mouse out event happens we want to execute some logic so what we can do is inside this highlight directives class we can create event handler functions so i'm going to create an event handler function i'll call it on mouse enter okay and inside this on mouse enter I can write some logic which I want to execute whenever the mouse enter event happens. In the same way, I'm also going to create on mouse out method and this on mouse out method, I want to use it like an event handler function which will execute whenever the mouse out event happens. But how will Angular know which event handler method to execute on mouse enter? and which event handler to execute on mouse out for that we are going to use host listener decorator so we can decorate this method with at host listener decorator and in order to use this host listener we also need to import it from angular slash go and in there we need to pass an argument which is a string value and there we need to specify the event name so here the event name is mouse enter in the same way we can also decorate this method with host listener so again i'll say at host listener and we want to execute this on mouse out whenever the mouse out event happens so here to this host listener we can specify that event and the event name is mouse out okay so now whenever the mouse enter event will happen on the host element 
this method will be executed and whenever mouse out event will happen on the host element this method will be executed and again the host element is the element on which we have used the directive in this case the host element is this div element now what do we want to do when the mouse enter event happens basically we want to zoom this product in and when the mouse out event happens we want to zoom this product out so in order to zoom in the product i have written some css so let me go ahead and let me grab it from here and i'm going to add this css in app component.css file so let me scroll down and here we have this app component.css file i'm going to add that css here let me save this file now let's go to highlight directive and inside this method inside this on mouse enter event handler function what we will do is first i am going to access this renderer property for that i can say this dot renderer and using this renderer class i want to add some css class on the host element and to add a css class on a host element we can use add class method now here the first argument of this add class method is the element on which we want to add the css class and here we want to add the css class on this div element and we are receiving a reference of this div element inside this element parameter and since we have used this private keyword in front of it behind the scenes a property with this name element has been created so here we can say this dot element and dot native element so this native element it is going to return us this div element all right then we need to specify the css class which we want to add and for that i am going to copy this class name which is highlight product let's go ahead and let's specify it here okay so what this line of code will do is it will add this css class on the element which this native element is referring to so with this if we go to the web page and when i hover over these products you will notice that it is not working now why is that that is because here we are specifying the css class as highlight product but where have we defined the css class we have defined it inside the app component but we should be defining it inside the product component.css because we want to use this css in the product component.css right whatever css style we want to apply on this div it should be present in the product component.css because we have learned that the css style defined inside one component is not available in other component so i will cut this css class from here let me save the changes in this file and let me close it also and let's open product component.css and in there let's go ahead and let's add this css class somewhere here let's save the changes let's go to the web page now and now when i hover over any one of these products you will notice that it has zoomed in okay you can see all these products are zoomed in but when i move my mouse away from them it is not zooming out because we have not written that logic so when we move our mouse away from this product in that case on mouse out event will happen currently we have only implemented logic for mouse enter and that is working okay but we have not implemented any logic for mouse out event so let's go back and let's go to highlight directive.ts file so in here you see we have only added the logic for mouse enter event whenever the mouse enter event will happen on the host element this event handler method will be executed now whenever the mouse out event will happen this event handler will be executed but inside this event handler we have not written any logic so when the mouse enter event is happening we are adding a class but when the mouse out event will happen we will remove that class for that let me go ahead and let me copy this line from here and let's write the same logic inside the event handler of this mouse out event but there instead of using this add class method we are going to use remove class and 
in there also we need to specify the element from where we want to remove the css class and which css class do we want to remove we want to remove this highlight product css class so if i save the changes if you go to the web page now so you will notice that when the mouse enter event is happening the product is zooming in and when i move my mouse away mouse out event happens in that case the product is zooming out same thing you will see here okay all right so using this host listener decorator we can listen to events on the host element and we can react to that event by executing an event handler function so for that what we do is we create the event handler function we decorate it with host listener decorator and we specify the event name for which that event handler function should be executed so whenever that event will happen on the host element and again keep in mind that the host element is that element on which we are using that directive in this case we are using this directive this app highlight selector on this div element so this div element here is the host element so whenever an event will happen on this host element this host listener can listen to that event and whenever that event will happen it can execute an event handler function i hope the use of host listener decorator is clear to you so this host listener decorator it listens to a dom event on the host element and it reacts to that event by executing an event handler function this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day